Hey guys, Christian Miske here, and we're going to be doing a more advanced tutorial on data and variables. Okay, let's get started. Now, we'll open up our data, and uh, we have our variable, and uh, we can make a list, list, like so. And uh, I'll be showing you how to make a list, and some more advanced things with variables. Okay, let's pull up our processing page. Let's set up our program. Void setup. Like so. And uh, give it a size of 600 by 400. I don't think we'll be needing that too much. And uh, let's create some variables. So, to create a list, lists are a bit more complex. They're not exactly the same. In here, in scratch we can uh, create a list we just uh, you know make it like this and then we can add things to it and I can just double click this to example and it adds a thing to list we can add a bunch of things and they have the spots one two and three and you can delete those things you can delete number one and it disappears okay we can insert things like that place and find all out all this stuff we're gonna be going over a lot of this so uh, you probably get the hang of it. Let's create our list. Now, as you remember from the previous vi vi um, video, we have data type name equals init initial value, like so. Or you can just cut it off simple right here. Boom, like that. Okay. But, um,. A list is a bit different. You don't have to type in anything special to make a list. And uh, when I get to objects, we'll have lists of objects, but um, that's another type thing, and there is a type for that. But in this case, we're going to be creating, um, they're called arrays, which is the same thing as a list. I'll be calling them lists. Okay, so, well, I'll probably be calling them both. Okay, so uh, let's just create a regular variable. Let's say an integer. Like, um, my favorite number. You can set that to whatever number you like, right? Ta-da, there we go, my favorite number. Well, what if I want to have more than one favorite number? What if I want to have my favorite numbers? Well, how do we do that? Okay, we're going to create a list or an array of objects. You do that with the square brackets like this, and you put it right after the data type, okay? This tells us that it's in a list. You just have to remember that. Now when we set it, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. You're going to have to type in like this, so you can do 15, 7, 5, and uh, let me just make sure I'm getting that right. Okay, the program ran. Okay, good. Um, so, so, this is how you do it if you want to set it right away. So you have your brackets, and this is a block of code, and you put uh, your different values in here, with a comma, and another value, and a comma, and another value, like so. And you can put as many as you want. Comma, blah, comma, blah, 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 comma, blah, 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 comma, negative, blah. Okay, and we got a bunch of very, very, um, values in there. Right? Okay. So, this is now a list. Now, how do we use that list? We put our values in here right away, but how do we use it? Okay, let's go down into setup. Let me make this a bit neater. Okay, give it some padding and uh, like that. Okay, so right here, print line. Um, not not in all programming language, but I believe in this one you can do my favorite numbers. You can just type it in there in print line and it will print out all of them. Okay, that's really handy. Um, so here's our window, nothing on it, as you can see, I'll close this out. And we have in our console, we printed out our list. You'll see that the first number has brackets, and then a number that increases from zero and goes on. And the second number is the number here. Oh, so we got 15, it's the first one, seven, five, and all of these, okay? This is going to confuse the heck out of you right now, what I'm about to say. You see how over here, how you have one as the first thing, two as the second thing, three as the, th as the third thing? Well, in 
typing code, well, the typing code and programming and Java processing and pretty much every single language, you start at zero. This will confuse you so much, and yeah, so just get used to it because it's it's hard at first. I know. So it starts at zero, and it goes to one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the length of this is seven, but there, but it, but it has six because zero is the starting one. So that's handy that we can print out all of these. But what if we only want to print out one? Let me comment this out. Oops, on the other side. Comment this out so we don't print out all of them. Let's uh, put a print line. Now, how are we gonna do one? We could type in my favorite numbers, and we want to type in one. So what we do? This is how we do it. We put in like this our square brackets, and then, boom. Say we want to do the first number on the list. What? It does seven. That's the second one. Oh no, I'm getting so confused. You see, th this will happen a lot. You, zero is the first one. <coughs> Array slash list start at zero. Explanation point. That's very important and uh, You'll probably make many mistakes with this. I know I have. So now we have sorry, we have the zeroth number and we have fifteen. So we got fifteen printed down here. And say so we put in the last one. Well zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's six. So uh, we can restart the program and I'll put in the last number. Forty five, minus forty five, yep, right there. Now say you make this and it can be whatever number you want but you don't want to type in the last one and like count through all of them there's a handy way to do that um, before I do that let me show you first you can print my favorite why did I make this such a big word <laughs> my favorite number is not length uh, uh, I'm gonna have to double check Yes, okay. So, with an array, or a list like this, um, you can do dot length, and that'll give you the length of all of these. So there's seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that starts at one, which gets kind of confusing. So, if you want to do the la print the uh, only the last one, in any case, you can literally type in... I'm going to copy this because it's so long. Okay. <laughs> You can literally type in dot length, which means it'll get you the last one minus one because you want because start at zero. Let me make this a bit neater. What I do three spaces here. Make it easier to see. Okay. So if you subtract one from the length, then you get the last variable. Okay, did you see? Forty five. Now I'll show you that this won't work if you just leave a dot length in there. Uh, array an index out of bounds exception. Okay, so we're out of the bounds of the array. Seven. So this returns seven, the length of seven, because we have seven very values here. But it starts at zero. So seven would be the one that there is none. So it doesn't work, so you have to watch out for that. So that's why we have minus one. You just have to get used to that. Okay. So we created an array or list of integers, and you can literally do this with anything. String names equals boom like this and you just type in uh, or capitalize it give him justice <laughs> bill just do all the simple names joe mr ferguson I don't even know if that's a real name. You can just type in all of these here, and uh, you can access it the same way. So we can simply do print line names, and like we did before, when we listed them all out. What did I do wrong? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. You have to have this. I just kind of slipped my mind, I guess. Okay, so you have to have this. This means that it is an, that it is a list. It gave us that warning telling us that it needed to be that. Okay, so now, 
when it prints out a list of strings, it literally just adds them all together and prints them out like this instead of having like the one, zero, two, three thing when we did with numbers. Okay, um, we can do this like here with the zero. This will give us the zeroth one. Remember, it starts at zero. There's a quote that uh, I can't remember his name right now, but uh, he says, our array indexes start at zero or one. I compromised and with 0 0.5, and the computer didn't like it. <laughs> so you just got to remember that zero. Everyone has trouble with it. So zero returns Bob. We can do the same thing where we have names dot length minus one. That should return Mr. Ferguson because that's the last value. Mr. Ferguson, indeed. Cool. So that's a an array of strings. Okay. What if you want to make it blank in the beginning? So, uh, trying to think of a different data type we can use. Okay, so char, char character, uh, letters. Okay, let's just leave it like this. Okay, we can we can leave it like this, but when we set it, we can't just do like letters equals yada yada yada. We'd have, but up here we can do like this: letters equals new char. Boom, and then you want to type in. This will give it a limit. So you can put a limit in here. So like, it can only be 10 characters, okay? So that now there's a max, so there's only 10. So now we can go down here. Letters zero equals K. We'll run this and it's perfectly fine. There's no errors or anything. We can print it out. Printing out things is really nice and handy, um, if, especially while we're debugging and stuff. So we can print out letters zero, and we should see that it is K. Okay, what happens if we do letters like one? We haven't set it yet, so what will it do? It'll just be nothing. So it's an empty character. So we have to fill them in. So, so that's so. As you can see, like we set regular variables, we have the name, and we set it. But in this case, we call right here. This is what we um we want to get the zeroth one. So the zeroth one of here. We can copy this if you're lazy. Put it down here and set the sec the next one. Whatever letter you like. Just pick a random letter. And then you can go along and set all of them. Now let's just change the limit to be like 4 so I don't have to type that much. So uh, let's uh, just paste this in. So this is 2. Boom. And then this will be 3. And remember we have to stop at 1 less because it starts at 0. Like so. Okay, so now we have all our letters set. And you notice how we can set them like so. Which is very handy. And we can print them out if we want. So now we can print letters and see what that does. Boom. Okay, so you also notice with uh, characters, it has a uh, one. It tells you which what the order is. So zero, one, two, three, four. It one, two, three. In uh, strings, it doesn't. It just adds them up. But here we can see we have K, W, H, and O. Now say we're, we were to do this. At the beginning, what would we get? Let's see what happens. An empty char, an empty character. You can see. So first we print negative forty-five right here. Then we print Mr. Ferguson right here. Then we print all of the letters, which we never said anything to it, so they become empty characters. Then we set K and we print it out right here. Then we print out all of them again, so we can see all of them. So that's how arrays work also called lists, and they're very handy. There are even more advanced arrays, which I will save for much for much farther time when we get into more like games and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.